you're welcome again today let's um we're going to do a design with canva right now so we're going to do the album cover design we did with pixel app the same with canva let's check it so this is the cover design we did um with um pixel app pixel app right, this is the cover design we did and this is the mock-up that we did with canva all right so with pixel app rather so we're going to do the same with canva that's going to be our first project here so um i just click my plus sign and then i'll customize the size that's a squared size so i'll leave it in pixels 3600 3600 i'll create my design all right so i'm going to bring in my elements so i've told you already um how to bring in elements so let it load i'll click my plus sign um it's actually a straightforward design so uh, it's not going to take our time i hope so <laughs> all right so i'll come to upload or uploads the ones i've uploaded so i'm not sure the picture is here but the the file the background is not here so i'm going to click upload file so i'm going to upload that particular file that particular background that i i used all right so just go to um i think it's in pix art so i'll go pix art and then i'll pick this background and uh, it's going to load into this space and the background is going to be available for me to use anytime i want to use it for design so i'll just click it all right i could just i could have just dragged uh yeah, dragged it if i were using uh my system all right so i'm going to also use my system to make some designs so that um those the, the persons that have system will not be disadvantaged all right if you have a system in fact it gives uh, a better experience all right so all right this is it so what i'm going to do i'll just i'll just adjust some some of the things there click adjust all right so um the whole image you can just all right i think we made it something about like green or so you can just change the brightness increase the brightness up a little contrast highlights so you can change the saturation edit the colors and stuff like that here all right so you can see what i'm doing already so uh, it's best that we practically uh choose um do this so instead of doing it one after the other so some of those things they are not just to move position is to keep it at the middle and stuff like that but i had to put it the way it should be all right animate uh it's not um really a video so there's only for that if you want to crop you can crop it and um stuff like that okay so this is what we have so i'm going to bring in plus sign i'm going to bring in um you can see it's on upload all right so I'll bring in this particular image we used so i will um increase it this way i think yeah so i'll increase it this way and um, kind of put it at the middle like this all right so you can see what we have already then um the next thing i'm going to click this and then i'm going to go to elements what i'm going to look for now is um let's search for gradient all right so gradient is what we're going to search for so let's search for gradient and let's check you can see graphics so we can just see all and we're going to pick a gradient that a white gradient right yeah so let's choose this and see all right you can see this is a white gradient so i'm going to put it below here and then look at this plus this plus on plus um it's just like duplicate i'll click it it's it's there are two already I'll, I'll click it there are three can move this up a little can click it again there are four already so i think um it's going to be okay all right so uh, that is to duplicate this is to delete all right so you can click to see more options paste and all of that come and bring forward take backwards and to bring forward and take backwards it's actually um a bit kind of easy to do um we are going to come to all of that all right so the next thing i think um the next thing is to add text so click the plus sign and um you're going to add text so come to text here there's text here 
you can see text below this text here click text and then we're going to add a text box so you can just um default text style and stuff just add the text box and then write um i i think pd music production i can't remember exactly what we added when we were making the design with pixel lab all right so um just click outside first all right so i want to click the text and then just hold this move to so that you can move it now canva is giving you a guide to see all right now i'll place it here like that so um it's at the middle already so for the text you can actually edit the font you can edit the spacing you can see the spacing later spacing so i'll increase the later spacing and um for the color i can decide to make it a little just click the dark passion and make it a little lighter all right so yeah this is just um I think i prefer like that you can see what i'm doing there so you can make it a little lighter all right so it's not very it's too important like that so the next thing is actually at the title so the title is still going to be a, a font so i'm going to add the text box um all right i'll write glory rain glory rain all right so canva has taken note of my um my settings for the text and that's not actually what i want again so i'll, I'll add the heading All right then i'm going to write glory well everything is glory glory rain right yeah glory rain all right so um I'm going to move it down here then um just hold pitch it hold it by this by by the edge and then just pitch it to to reduce the size or you can reduce the size from the settings all right most of the settings they are they are pretty cool they are not hard to you can see edit you want to edit the font font style so font styles you can see where i want to make it bold you can see font size here this is where to reduce font color is to change the color and then uh, format is um the alignment pattern whether you want to underline whether you want to make it bullet points whether you want to make it numbers and stuff like the spacing effects transparency is to add transparency make it transparent whether it's going to be gradient transparency and all of that so um that is that for this so i'm going to change the font right yes so i'll change the fonts to something similar to what we had um let's check what we have i can remember you can see what we have here all right so um this is a bit uh, okay so we're going to choose um glory ring let's change this and see uh, you may not have um access to all the fonts like i might be able to you know play around them but um you can do do with anyone you have all right so um glory ring all right piercing here is the closest font that we have found so uh, i'll just keep it here and then change the color to color of the skin yeah you can see color i uh, suggest um canva is suggesting already some palettes for me to use all right so I think um, this or this, this or this. Oh, go with this. All right. So no, let's go with this so that it comes out well. All right. So glory rain. All right. So um, let's duplicate this a little and take it up. Um, I wouldn't want it to cover the face too much. All right. So. Um, I'll take it, um, send, I'll send it backwards so that this will come above. All right. So that's what I just wanted to do. Okay. 
and then this layers also you can click the layers and then drag look at this street it's just like pixel up if you have got it if you have, if you have uh, followed the course just hold it click it and hold it and then you can take backwards and it's going to go backwards too so that's for the layer and then glory rain by um i'm going to add the text uh, it's just so simple to do it's going to be subheading um by my god yeah by who um chris morgan so chris morgan so this is what we're going to do right now i'm going to move it down <sighs> then come here um, just click it click outside first and click it uh, where is it click it and then the size we're going to reduce the size reasonably yep reduce it reduce it reduce it you can reduce it and uh, okay position it at the middle or you can just hold this this yeah as you're moving it you can see canva is telling you it's at the middle right now so yeah something like this is okay or you can position it like the way we position the other one look at this is album cover design you made and it's quite very beautiful simple clean and, and nice so if you want to save this right now now if um you want to add lens flare i believe for those of you that may be using iphones i believe pix art uh it's going to be um it's going to be i i believe it should i'm not using iphone i'm using samsung galaxy a12 currently so i'm not using iphone right now so i don't know whether pix art is installable in iphone if it is then you can add the lens flare follow the tutorials too and add the lens flare like i thought in the previous videos after you have saved it all right all right so how do you save this just click this download icon or the export icon and then you're going to save it as image and uh it's preparing your design already and that's going to be yeah just take uh, i think just few seconds all right so our design is ready and uh ready for what for download okay so it's it's actually downloaded and saved to gallery so you can view it and that you have it all right so that's that for this design so you can see how clean it is just like the way we used pixel art for it so that's how we also have used canva also so i'm going to um, do another design with um yes canva again and um, here we go let's check out another design and most of the designs i'm going to do i'm going to do different designs so that you know, even designs that are also different from the ones I've done with Pixel Up so that you have a wide range of experience. All right. So you can also check out if you don't, if your device is not, if Pixel Up is not installable in your device, check, make sure you check out all the videos, follow through the course, check all the videos because the videos, they have a lot of things for you to learn. All right. So uh, just check through the videos. Then you're going to see the ideas behind designs there that you can also use Canva to also replicates as you are learning about how to use all the tools here all right bye for now see you in the next class